What's going on, guys? Uh, just here to encourage you to subscribe. Show is amazing. I'm sure you can tell by now. Uh, a lot of people that visit the channel and watch the show have not subscribed yet. It's evident by our numbers on the videos as compared to our subscriptions. So please do subscribe, hit the notification bell and share. You will really, really, uh, someone has disturbed me in the background, but <laughs> no issue. <laughs> uh, you will really, 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 really love the show and see you on the other side. I know what I'm talking about. I'm telling you. I can't come with the Catch Amazing Minds Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 20 hours Central African time on YouTube, Google, Apple, and Spotify for podcasters. Zambia's first late night show. You're welcome to Amazing Minds, Zambia's first late night show. Again, if you're not subscribed, please do subscribe, hit the bell and share. Uh, show is available Mondays and Fridays. Well, Monday show on Bible Talks airs twice a week at this point, but we air Monday and Monday show on Bible Talks on any given days during the week. This is due to our time of trouble in Zambia, our time of tribulation <laughs> that we are experiencing on a national scale. And my camera also does seem to be out of my sight of view, but it's fine. <laughs> I'm here with Mr. Chofaya. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good, man. How are you doing? Oh, I'm a blessed young man. Good to see you. Ah, nice to see you. I can tell your hair looks good. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> no, it's not easy. As I told you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Uh, no, oh, oh, yeah, for a guy, for a guy, he works. <laughs> yeah, just move the mic closer. <laughs> for the woman, I, we don't know. Yeah, for the that it's here. <laughs> oh yeah, because she, she didn't use her right? own money for that for that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, her yeah. money is for something. Yeah, I know. Except my sisters, my sisters use their money. And your girlfriend as well. Oh, and your, your girlfriend, girlfriend yeah. Eh? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So you got... <laughs> am I not supposed to be ashamed that my girlfriend uses her own? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And also not to say anything about my sister's uh, arrangements. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, oh, mm. you, it's you, cold season. <laughs> you called me to fire. Did I add sugar to this? I don't think I did. I thought you were in the honey. Oh, no, I, mm. I actually intended on adding honey, but I think I forgot. Ah, okay. Yeah, we're not doing coffee today. We're doing tea and yes, chofia, not mm. chofia. You confused <laughs> my my friend Bruce. Yeah, another Bruce, not the Bruce. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> he, he was. was like, yeah, he was like, "What kind of manish is nan to my review and yaro bunch." The guy hasn't told me that he watches or anything. Yeah. So I was a bit confused. What do you mean? Nanga uja jamani uja wa ya my kambasa. 
place expensive. <laughs> and you know, I always forget whenever people call me German or Rasta or Balaz, mm. I always forget that it's I Balaz. actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Balaz Mkwera. Uh, his name is Chofia, but Siri. When you tell Siri to call Chofia, it says calling Chofia. <laughs> if you add the last name, calling Chofia, Muneya Neyembe. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Interesting stuff on the show. I hope you guys enjoyed last week's show. Last week's show was good. Uh, we discussed some really amazing stuff, some of which we have updates for, such as the alleged abduction of one uh, JJ Banda. This is also alluded to by Mr. Uh, Mr. Muetua that you see later on in the video that it is indeed alleged. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we have a number of things to discuss on the show. To begin with, Zesco to cut down on electricity exports as Ndola Energy is launched. Police storm several churches in Copper Belt. More twists and turns, or rather more twists in JJ's alleged abduct abduction case. And Uka finally holds a political rally. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> this, is this the first political rally since... Uh, I can I can I can confirm that according to my knowledge, it's a first political party rally. You've actually a, mentioned that fact for your for your while now. Yeah, I'm I'm about to clarify. Yeah, to say it's the first one since we had Grafe Musamba as the Inspector General okay. of Police. Yeah. Okay. Before that, uh, I don't know if my memory will serve me right. Yeah. But since Grafe Musamba, and it's been a while, a very long time. And it's been a while. Eh? Yeah. Oh, by the way, did you see this video of uh, them putting JJ into the car? Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know, I thought of you and I saw this video. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, because I was thinking that... Uh, Does dehydration really do that to people? Dehydration? Yeah. No, but apparently it's got other ailments <laughs> that have come up. Oh, yeah. really? As I said, not last related, week, was in and out of... Not hospital. related to the abduction? Oh, no, last week you said office. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, uh, is it related to the abduction? His recent being unwell? No, he no. Oh, they, it's just he's just unwell, unwell yes, generally. Oh, yes. okay, okay. Apparently, he's been fainting and all those things. Oh, really? Yeah. I hope they didn't poison him or anything like that. That's if the abductors. He, that's if he was abducted for real. The abductors, yeah. yeah. But you know, the other thing is that if that happened, they would have known at minus oak. Oh, because they did a yeah. Unless yeah, yeah, they are yeah. in on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless yeah. they're in on it. Eh? Yeah, because they did like the comprehensive tests, mm. so would have known by now. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the only thing that was there were the bruises and the dehydration. And the dehydration. According <laughs> to the hospital. Yeah, and his unquenchable desire for Nando's. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, our yeah. thoughts and prayers are with JJ. In that case, with our thoughts and prayers are with him over his ailments and injuries that are not as a result of the abduction. As for the abduction, we are still trying to determine what really happened. My thoughts and prayers are on the fence myself. On the fence? For now. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Once we determine, they will either fall in to the yard <laughs> or outside the yard. Yeah, exactly. I I always remember the story of how some families were separated in the Republic of Congo when the war was starting. Uh, there was a teacher in Kasama, I believe, who was Kasama. telling yeah, who was telling a story. He was from Congo and came to Zambia. He was teaching mathematics. So he was telling the he was trying to teach them a concept in mathematics. And the kids in class were making so much noise. And so, you know, he keeps hitting the board, keep quiet, keep quiet. And they're just making noise. <laughs> and so the teacher begins to remember his time in Congo, how he ended up in Zambia. And you know, uh, the students keep quiet because they see a tear running down in his eye. Mm. And he's like, Wana wa Mzambia mwa kwa tapis. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ine, nariko Kongo, na wa mami, na mwache wandi, wa mubika panuma, walipanga fitumbua fya kuskulu. Masoja wa yisa, wa senda grenade, wa iposela muyad. Mm -hmm. Nga kali la, mm. kapatuka nyalu <laughs> <laughs> Separates the family. Oh, <laughs> but in Congolese oh, Bemba. Oh. In Congolese Bemba. Kapatukanya <laughs> Lupua. Kapatukanya Lupua. Oh. Yeah, I hope that wasn't a bad joke. <laughs> yeah, anyway, <laughs> on to Zesco. So, Cabinet directs Zesco to cut exports by 100 megawatts for local use. Um, yeah, we, we are told that we have a deficit that's much more than 100. Uh, megawatts, but at least this is something. This will at least power 
some houses yeah what do you think good news yeah it's good news good news eh? yeah definitely yeah and anything so, to help with this lot <laughs> anything to help with the lot yeah. and so uh we have some uh some remarks on the same issue from mr cornelius Mwetua as well as the minister of energy uh who informed us anyway mr Mwetua. cabinet sitting today the 17th of june 2024 has resolved that zesco shall recall at least 100 megawatts of power from the export market which zesco is exporting for local utilization within zambia the balance of the 195 megawatts is still being negotiated by zesco to ensure that there is a smooth exit plan because zesco is contractually bound to have been supplying such power yeah uh i guess we just have to be confused about that video uh from what i'm getting i think we are recalling a hundred megawatts of power that we're exporting and then the balance of 195 which we're exporting which makes me believe that we're exporting about 295 mm. and we're only recalling a hundred if I got Mr. Mwetwa correctly. And also I noticed that he talks just like Jacob Zuma. A and C. Yeah, for local use. Yeah, you know, what I yeah. got is that uh, we're exporting 195. And then eh, of the 195, we're only calling at least 100. Mm. Then the balance, because eh, there's 195. So since we're calling 100, but maybe he meant to say the balance of all that. The balance after, of 95? Which is 95, yes. What, uh, what makes you believe we're exporting 195? Because I think I've seen those numbers somewhere. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I think that is to one country because uh, we're exporting ah, several countries. Okay, I understand. There's Congo. So in total, the, we could have uh, more. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So anyway, we'll see. Yeah, that does make sense, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, it could be a it could be 195 or 295. Um, I guess we will get much clarity on that. We'll give it to you next week. Um, the Minister of Energy, however, said that we are import we are gave us different figures altogether. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check it out. There is a current the current shortage or deficit is close to 800 megawatts. So we are only recalling about 195, which is close to 200. We are adding also dollar energy, which is bringing in um, an, another 105 megawatts. So we are looking also to private sector to bring in the balance so that we could at least reduce on the hours of load sharing. Yeah, so according to the Minister of Energy, he says we are recalling uh, 195. So I think there's some confusion there. Yeah, but they were saying it at the, on the same platform. Yeah, that's the funny thing. So I don't yeah. know. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, what we know is we are recall we are recalling some energy, and uh, some megawatts of energy, and we are also producing uh, an extra 105 through dollar dollar energy, which has recently been opened. Yes. Before you go there, let me yeah. just punch some holes into what the minister said. Okay. First of all, because he's confused us about what they are recalling. Yeah. Is it 195? Is it at least 100, like the, the, the other minister said? Yeah, yeah. The other one, he says we've got a deficit of 800, <clears throat> right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, first of all, the, the Zesco MD last week, who we are reading that, he said the hours of load shedding are not what? Are not going to change. Are not going to change. Mm. Now him is saying we are going to reduce because of what is happening right now. Which to is understandable. To, to reduce what, the hours? The hours, yes. Did he just say that? Yes. At least, we should at least reduce. Oh, he says the aim is to yes. eventually reduce. Okay, yes. okay, okay, I understand. Now, uh, there are a few things. He said 800 megawatts, which if I add all these things that are, all these megawatts that are coming on board, it, it means that uh, load shedding maybe should be reduced from 12 to 6 hours, if it's really 12 hours. Mm. Because, or because collectively we are getting roughly almost, from what the Minister of mm -hmm. uh, Energy said, <coughs> we're getting roughly 400 Yes. Three to 400, 300 ish, which is close to about 40% of our deficit. 
Yes. So because we have uh, 105 from uh, dollar. dollar energy, there's 100 that we are recalling. Or 195. Yeah, let's just pretend it's 100. <laughs> yeah. So that's 200. Okay, that would be 200. Then but, there's one mm. that's coming from Mamba Collieries. They've been talking about it, oh, which okay. is 300. They didn't talk about it. Oh, all. really? 300? 300 megawatts. Yeah, we have power again. <laughs> no, but don't get too excited because these guys, they seem so casual. You can look at the minister the way he's talking. Yeah, I know. Like he hasn't slept in three days. He, he, <laughs> he, he, he hasn't slept in three days. He looks quite tired. <laughs> yeah. No, to me, it just looks like he's uh, belittling the problem. Or like it's small, eh? Maybe yeah. maybe he isn't having a personal experience with it. Maybe, yeah. It's very possible. Most likely. Yeah, most of these guys, uh, Mr. Mwetwa, though, no, we trust he's having experiences I with it. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's Mr. Mwetwa. No. Eh? <laughs> it's Cornelius. <laughs> <laughs> eh, when he gets home, he's like, ah, uh-uh, power <laughs> has gone. <laughs> he always does a pause. Yeah. <laughs> After he says the first word, power <laughs> Has gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So to me, it's a bit confusing, but maybe now. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. At yeah. least now we're getting a bit of some some light, so to say, some information. Yeah. Because we didn't even know how much we're exporting. Some people are even claiming, no, we're not exporting. We stopped. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We didn't know how much we're exporting. <clears throat> we had ideas on how much the deficit was, but mm-hmm. we didn't know the exact numbers. We are getting clarity. The closer to solutions, the more clear things are becoming. Yeah. I guess people always hide the details once when the solution is not in sight. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, we do hope that we have ca- companies locally that mm. can produce good amounts of power um, solar-wise. We hope they can work together to power into the grid. Mm. Uh, I know of NG, um, some fr- French company that does. Yeah, I hope, I hope the private sector will really come in. Yeah, I hope so too. And yeah. there are policies that are coming up in place. Uh, there are SIs that have been signed by the president mm. where uh, people, as I told you last time, people will be able, if you have got solar at your home, mm. uh, <clears throat> they will come and install some meters that will enable you to actually uh, supply. Instead oh, do, of just oh. getting in, yeah. Nice, okay. Yeah, so, mm. and also we are seeing the solutions finally in dollar energy was opened. Oh yeah, in dollar energy was finally <coughs> brought back to life and the CEO gave his um, opening remarks. Versatile engines, which was a vision and foresight of the investors to make sure that we were able to run multiple uh, fuel sources. We are restarting today on diesel versus heavy fuel oil that the plant used to run on. We have a project here to install 200 megawatts of solar for the Voitech, uh, which is, you see a lot of solar panels here in the area. Uh, so, you know that gentleman? Mainza? No, that one, Brian Mushimba. <laughs> no, I was just being funny. He's yeah, he's the, <laughs> the the musician. You remember they look alike. Oh, they resemble. Yeah, you, you remember my Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he's now bold. Mutu and, chabi. Yeah. Come, so munga tipo na mutu abu. Yeah, Brian Mushimba is a former minister. In okay. The PF government. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. 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 Yeah. The name sounds familiar. Yeah, I just thought of mentioning him because he's one of those guys who, who has since moved on, yeah. and now it looks like he just wants to help the situation. He was in the US for some time. Okay. Yeah. So him even coming back to work here, maybe it's because he wants to contribute to the well-being of of, the, of his people. Yeah. Mm. So we need a lot of such people. Yeah. Especially in politics. Yeah. yeah. And uh, the government does need to create a non-hostile environment for such individuals. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Number one, I, I am aware that ZDA only provides tax holidays to... Um, oh, by the way, it's a foreign company. It's a foreign company? Yeah. They are calling it... Uh, they call it Great Lakes. It's part of the Great Lakes. Ah. Yeah. Okay, anyway, ZDA does provide incentives to Zambians in some way, except the incentive is <laughs> quite on the hefty side. But, yeah, I hope the government can really make... Uh, business favorable mm-hmm. for, for young entrepreneurs as well as allowing people to actually make money in the country. Yeah, I don't know why you threw in the young entrepreneurs there. <laughs> yeah, because if young people are seen to be doing mm-hmm. anything big, mm-hmm. uh, SEC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And the other thing, you know, yeah. I got a bit confused. Mm. I've been following this in dollar energy issue and I believe that eh, they are running. But anyway, from the CEO, what he said, mm. he actually said eh, they've been running on eh, Heavy fuel oils, and yeah, now they are yeah. starting to run on diesels. Yeah, on yeah. diesel. I thought the other way around is better. I don't know, but this thing. Then he was, also talked about solar panels. Yeah, but that's afterwards because the, right now it's just a thermal plant. 
Okay. Yeah. So they're trying to now transition to solar. Yes, they are from... coming up with the solar issue okay. now. Yeah. Okay. But that is separate. It's not running right now. Okay. Right now, what they are using is heavy fuel oils. Yeah, but are they going to eventually get, like graduate from the to solar eventually? Like no, the... I don't think so. I think they will have solar and the oh, other they'll have two. Running. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Which I've got no problem with. Do you? Yeah. No, no, that's okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not clean energy, of course. Uh, it's not clean energy. I would have preferred if they did solar. Uh, because yes, as, as, as you say, it's, mm. uh, I think the infrastructure setting up may be expensive, but mm, yeah. the long-term use mm-hmm. maintenance might mm-hmm. not be as expensive as, yeah, yeah, you could be right. as using the diesels and, and all that stuff. Then also mm. the effects on the environment. Yeah. Um, yeah, all that stuff. Okay. Anyway, what I wanted to tell you is that this dollar energy, mm. excuse me, has been running. Okay. According to when you go to our website, yeah. you'll find that they relaunched because it was closed for a long time. They relaunch in April. Mm. So now that we've had this, but when they launched, they, when they relaunched, they said they're only producing like 55 megawatts. Mm. So now they added another 50, which makes it 105. Mm. Yeah, but the way they aggrandized it, as if now <laughs> we are just launching, you know? Oh, that's a big Which word. is understandable. Agra- they want to show Aggrandized. <laughs> mm. Sorry? You said aggrandized. Yeah. Yeah, I've never heard it. It's a big word. I'm like, whoa. Oh, okay. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah. the way they made it seem as if... Uh, you know, we are, we are working, we are providing solutions. Mm, mm. Yeah, which I think maybe we should give it to them. But uh, as I said, they aggrandized it too much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, interesting stuff. I had stuff. to use that word twice. Yeah, <laughs> aggrandized. I'll, yeah. I'll be sure to use it and make it look like it's mine. Yeah, so Mr. <laughs> Chofia, as I aggrandized last time. <laughs> yeah, anyway, sorry. The, so you guys, be sure to subscribe uh, if you like what you're seeing. Uh, ping that notification bell and like the video. Load shading as long as you can equal. every week. Expect a, a story about load shading. We'll exactly. Be giving you all the information <laughs> right here at Amazing Minds. <laughs> exactly. And by the way, guys, um, I lost my train of thought. Please don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, subscribe. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh by, the, by the way, when you watch Amazing Minds, yeah, I remembered what I wanted to say. When you watch mm-hmm. Amazing Minds, uh, you don't really have to go and search. Uh, Facebook and the news to know what's happening. We'll do that for you. Exactly. We are going to gather up all the information you want to know and we'll give it to you. You can give us your suggestions on what you'd like us to talk about in the comments. Exactly. Uh, you can give us your suggestions on what directions you would like to for us to take in terms of the news. Um, however, if your suggestions are not polite, then we'll politely tell you to go and do it on your podcast. <laughs> but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to me, you don't even have to be polite. Yeah, but if we if we if we deem what you are saying, like the, like there's that, that there's that guy on TikTok who said of all the boring podcasts, this one is like on top. <laughs> <laughs> and the other guy who like, said podcast, yeah, my hey, podcast. I'm like, ah. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, that guy thinks he knows everything just because he's got rasta. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. So uh, police apparently searched vehicles of congregants at a parish in Ndola. Um, Catholic bishop has complained sternly and he says um, this issue might even reach the head of state uh, in an issue where the police were seen around the church premises. What was going on? What? Did, didn't, didn't it reach the head of state? Do you think the head of state doesn't know about it? It, it probably has, but he talked about, I think, directly contacting him. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Course, yeah. yeah. So... Um, You're asking me what was happening. Yeah, what was happening at yeah, the... So, uh, the, the, there was an, it was on a Sunday. So we had these opposition party leaders in the Copper Bill, not on Indola, by the way. Mm-hmm. So there were some in Indola, there were some in Kitwe, and Harry Kalaba was in Chingola, as you guys will see very soon. Yeah. Yeah. So that that picture that you showed, uh, that you've shown, that was in Indola. Mm-hmm. Uh, so... <clears throat> The police went at their premises, and according to the congregants, they are saying the police went into the premises and stood at the gate and then made sure that they searched anyone who's coming in and out. Mm. Yeah, I don't know how true that is, but that's what the congregants said. Yeah, and the police did somehow confirm this when they talked about how they searched one guy's phone mm-hmm. and asked him to delete they the pictures the that he yeah that yes. he took of them. Mm. But yeah, listen to the bishop first. We should not be taken for granted. Let this be a warning. We need to be able to treat each other with respect, respecting our boundaries, and knowing how to engage each other. 
If the authority to like to come on my premises and they don't even engage me, that shows the amount of disregard they have for me. Regardless of what they may say afterwards, I think that is incorrect. So I thought I should say something about it so that um, it is clear to everyone because you are going to say the bishop was quiet when this happened. We are going to engage government, maybe the head of state itself, about this because it is a serious matter. Yeah, so that was the. Uh... Bishop, uh, Mr. Chafai here just corrected me. Yes. Archbishop, he was recently made yeah. Archbishop. Because uh, Ndola yeah. now is an Archdiocese. Okay. You don't have to know this. Uh, yeah. It was a diocese, <laughs> now it's an Archdiocese. Like right now, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so lost. Okay. Yeah. Could yeah. Pente, we just know. Yeah. And you know, this thing is yeah. almost, if you know, after the okay. scandal, Immediately, we got a letter from Rome to say, "Oh, yeah, um, is now an Archdiocese. after after this particular." Yes, so just like one. So at the time days. he was speaking, he was not yet. No. Oh, okay. Then he was bishop. That's why he read bishop. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. great, great. Yeah. So yeah. you are not wrong, don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. My Catholic <laughs> brothers and sisters, uh, bear with me. <laughs> yes, and the police uh, further confirmed um, they did not deny what the Archbishop said. At least not in this statement. They did not deny uh, searching people's cars. But what they said was that there was someone taking pictures of us and we told him to delete, as you will hear and from this. The other thing that they said mm. is that they were not in the premises, they were on the road. Aha. Uh -huh. They were just on the road. <laughs> that they were, yes, exactly. So I don't know what they were doing on the road, but as you will hear from this um, video here. Contrary to the reports circulating on Radio Echangelo Facebook page under the headline, Police Storm Ndola Catholic Church. We wish to clarify the facts of the matter. On the 16th of June 2024, at approximately 14 hours, a team of police officers was parked along the road near Divine Mess Parish Catholic Church in Hillcrest to observe the movement of people in the area. During this time, a number of church congregants were leaving the churchyard either on foot or in their vehicles. One congregant who had already exited the churchyard and was walking along the road began to take pictures of the officers and their motor vehicle. The individual was approached by the officers and asked why he was taking the photos. Initially, he denied doing so, but upon inspection of his phone, a picture of the officers was found. The man identified as Mr. Kamwale Piri, age 66, residing at house number E3 Rehabilitation Center, Hillcrest in Dollar, was then taken to Hillcrest Police Post for questioning. At the police post, Mr. Piri was spoken to and advised accordingly. He expressed regret for his actions, apologized and assured officers that he would not repeat such behavior. The photograph was subsequently deleted from his phone. Yeah, so the police, <laughs> yeah, apparently asked someone to delete. It reminds me of a time I was at... Uh... Cafeo Bridge, mm -hmm. Cafeo Bridge with a couple of friends and we're mm -hmm. taking pictures and mm -hmm. you know, there are police camps just under mm -hmm. the bridge there. I remember the story, but I don't spoil it. Carry oh, on. I've told you the story before. Yeah. So they told us <laughs> to delete everything, but they, at the time, did not know that there was a deleted folder. At the time. <laughs> I'm, they know I'm, now. I'm sure the police have, yeah, probably. <laughs> well, it depends on who we are dealing with. It depends, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So at the time they didn't know that, um, the, I hope they know now mm. there was a deleted folder. So <laughs> we deleted in their presence, but then... Let put them on Facebook. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, and by the way, Archbishop uh, Piri, now Archbishop, uh, in that address, it was a long one. No, we can't play the whole of, of mm, it, of course. Mm, mm. Uh, he also mentioned that case of the, 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 the gentleman who was uh, who was taking the police. Mm. So he was taking pictures, mm, the police mm. took him and everything. Yeah, to me, it doesn't look good, you know? No, no, it yeah. doesn't. Why should you come on people's premises and then they start taking pictures and then you detain someone? Yeah. yeah, it doesn't make sense. And it was an elderly man, by the way. As ah, ah, oh, oh yeah, okay. He was in, he's in 60s. Oh, I think I missed that part. Yeah. I was an assuming, I was assuming it's a young guy. No, it's an elderly man. Okay. Yeah, so it doesn't look good on all Yeah, so because all this stuff all, that's going on with, mm -hmm. the, with the rallies that are taking place on the copper belt, and we see heavy police activity. Mm -hmm. It kind of justifies Mr. Lungo's statements about him being either smelling good or smelling bad, that wherever he is, mm -hmm. there is going to be heavy police activity. Yeah. Or And now we are almost seeing it as wherever opposition is. Mm -hmm. um, 
we're seeing heavy police activity. I understand that we tolerated this while PF was uh, in power, mm. that whenever there was uh, a president, HH who was in opposition then was anywhere there would be heavy police activity. We tolerated it then because we got used to the police being used like that. Mm. But under this new uh, government, we expected things to be a bit different. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, yeah, and we shouldn't get used right now to what's yeah. happening because no, we, it was no, easy should, to get yeah. used during the PF. Yeah? It, it was but easy to get. Used, it was easy to get used also because of uh, how close each individual's encounter was with the police. Mm -hmm. Like everyday citizens understood this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least now the police have some level of dignity. I think. I don't know. Uh, that. Like, like I don't think you will find. You know, back then you would even find citizens slapping the police. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> yeah. about the level of dignity, I don't know, but yeah, all I can say is that uh, we do have good police, mm. good policemen and women. Mm. Uh, we also do have a lot of their leaders who want them to do their work professionally. Yeah. yeah, but we have a lot of bad eggs as well. Yeah, and I do also. I know you may not fully agree with this. I think uh, the president himself. Mm does intend good for the police. Yeah, yeah, you got me there. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but when it comes to... I wouldn't to, fully agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when, I, I do genuinely feel... Okay, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Mm, Uka had a rally over yeah. the weekend, which we are going to show the people. Yeah. Do you think the president, because they've been denying people having rallies, mm. do you think the president was informed and he said, okay, let them have it? Just be honest. <laughs> Uh, I, I know. I don't think. I don't think he was going to be like just. Mm? I don't know. <laughs> Do you think that happened without his consent? I think it happened with his consent, probably. So they actually went to him and said, "Sir, these people are back. They want to have another rally. What do you think?" Do they go to the president for such? Do you think so? Uh, this this is the if they got the president, then we yeah. still have a big problem. That's why I was asking you, what do you think? Oh, if the perception so by the is, people... This is really a trick question, eh? Yeah, so yeah. If, if, if we already have the perception that they got the president, then most likely they do that. And that's bad already. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's, a, that's an interesting thought. That's a very interesting thought. Yeah, because it yeah. came to my mind when I was seeing everything. I was thinking, oh, so did HH have to, have to say yes to this? Okay. But yeah, that's an interesting thought. It's also a bit alarming. But yeah. Yeah. And I can imagine the cumbersomeness because he's out there in the UK. I don't know. By now, obviously, the time yeah, we've seen this. If they, is bad. Really, if they really do have to go to him, yeah, then. Yeah, but I don't know. We can't confirm also. Whether yeah, no, I was just asking about what you think. What I think, eh? yeah. 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 And if those people are seeing this, you can also ask yourself, what do you think? Uh, you can say it in the comments or you don't have to. But if you think that they actually, the president actually said, yes, they can have this then yes, we have a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I get you. Uh, so Mr. Kalaba gave his um, narration of exactly what happened, mm. uh, how his movements were, how he was being followed, how there was trickery involved in him uh, escaping and successfully doing his deeds. Check it out. Uh, this morning, uh, you know, we had uh, shared where we would be as leaders. So I was assigned to be in Chingola. So this morning when I was at St. Peter's and the Pope, a parish, St. Peter and Paul Parish. Uh, UPA indicators began congregating around the church. So immediately after mass, uh, Father and my security detail had to usher me out from behind there so that I don't encounter those people and I had to use a smoker out of uh, Chingola, out of that parish, to go to my next uh, place of uh, prayers, which was Bigoka. I was just arriving in Bigoka when again word came that the police and the cadres, the police and the cadres working together, we are now hunting for me. And so someone uh, misled them again and told them I was in Kitwe. So in Kitwe apparently now they went where uh, Apostle Danny Pole was. And Apostle Danny Pole was also ejected from, uh, from the church. But yeah, so at first when I heard Mr. Kalaba speaking, I did not fully believe. I thought he's exaggerating a little bit. Like, <laughs> mm. Mr. Kalaba, are you really that important? Like uh, the police uh, and the Yeah, <laughs> like oh, well, police and cadres are joining forces to follow you uh -huh. until I watched this video of the cadres actually following him. successful. <laughs> 
Awali ya mabina Ford Ranger na Hilux Maka wafu ni mchingu, na wafu chingu atatuse kechi mbuya Tatuliye mbushi Tatuliye mbushi Tatuliye mbushi AIG 373 Eisho Imu ya avu tukere idea Imbi Omuri chikala ba niyumu Omuri chikala ba niyumu yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> to me, this is dangerous, huh? Yeah, it is. Yeah. This, uh, this is not the first time I'm seeing this coming from Chingol. Yeah. It happened with Chidufia I don't know if you remember. Oh, it did. Yes, he was at a radio station. Oh. This guy yes, went to a radio yes, station, yes, yes, took yes. him out of the studio, told him to leave Chingol, mm. and they were taking videos exactly the same way that they mm. did this. They were taking videos and saying, "Well, they are you to am time for to leave here or pull for good." So it's a, it's lucky dangerous to be a politician here. Yeah, it's not lucky. <laughs> it is, eh? Yeah. Do you, th- do you suppose that's how it is all over the world, or it's an African thing, or it's a Zambian thing? I can't really say it's an African thing, uh, and I can't say it's a Zambian thing. In fact, uh, I'm not even happy to say that we could be better than a lot of places. Yeah? yeah. Okay, I do agree. We could be better than a lot of places. The mm. only thing that bothers me mm. is that we have no more human beings mm-hmm. who become mindless robots when it comes to politics. Because as long as they have a leader they are mm-hmm. allegiant to, mm-hmm. they don't use their brain. Yes. They use their stomachs. Mm-hmm. So when they are moving with their stomachs as a group <laughs> of 300, 400 stomach-led youths, <laughs> they can kill. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes, they can. Uh, and uh, so you're yeah. dealing with robots who have lost their humanity yes. because of food. Yes. And in, now, they, yeah. In Northwestern province during voting in 2021, uh, PF provincial chairperson was killed. At the police yeah. station. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was beaten up by a mob. You remember how they beat up Max Chongo? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so this is what happens because to me, I think it's also a lot of gullibility involved. Mm. Someone just tells you do this and then you fall as well. Yeah. Yeah. And also gullibility plus more can be the stomachs. Yeah. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> it's it's crazy. The yeah. fact that also politicians understand mm-hmm. the psychology of a mob. Mm. And so they know exactly how to utilize the mob. Yeah. It's, it's very dangerous. I mean, okay. why would an individual take his phone following someone? This guy who is in the car following Mr. Kalaba is mm. not a politician. He's not... Like don't follow, even know them. Yeah, it's not like Mr. Kalaba is eyeing his seat <laughs> or like he's going to deprive him somehow. Uh-huh. Like he's purely doing this for someone else. And yeah. what is the benefit? Food. Yeah. Well, that, that tells you that it's going to deprive him if Kalaba is the one who's on the... Not hill. really. Not really if he works. If he works. Yeah. yeah. Not but really what if he if works. what if he does it? No, everyone can work. Unless, I don't know. Everyone can work. Yeah. Especially by one, way, one by, who has the capacity to drive following someone. Yeah. By the way, by work, we don't mean... Uh, Applying employment. for a job. Yeah. 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 Uh, so uh, maybe we should just... Uh, let me just break things down here a bit. So Edgar Lung was in Dollar. Mm. The, the first video of the bishop, of the archbishop now, was in Dollar. Mm. So they went to that church and then he went to another church. But they also followed him after that. So the police went to two churches in Dollar. Mm. When they reached there, the congregant lied to the police that Ed Galunga has left. Yeah. Yeah, that's how they sneaked him out. <laughs> In uh, Kitu, as you heard Mr. Kalawa saying, there was Danny Pule, mm. yeah, who was also followed. Mm. And then he, him was in Chingola. So they were in, uh, in several places in the Copper Belt. Mm. I just wanted to make that clear. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That clarity is important. Yeah. So uh, moving on, JJ, <laughs> who has been dehydrated for a while. Mm. Uh, you got- <laughs> <laughs> let me, let me, do you have anything against this? Yeah, him stopping the police. Ah, yeah, so. okay, okay. That's understandable. Yeah, I, I've always had that against him. Him being in a journalist's mouth and yeah. oh, allegedly, allegedly, and uh, stopping the police. Is this mm. the same journalist who was complaining? The one whose mouth he urinated yes. in? Yes. Oh, yeah. So uh, he has formally been arrested um, on charges of aggravated robbery and attempted murder, uh, for which I do sincerely hope he's innocent. The alleged crimes uh, were committed on 14 December 2015 at approximately 15 hours at Muzigawa Primary School in Vubu District of Eastern Province. The incident involved the theft of property valued at 12,000 kwacha, broken down as follows. A Canon camera valued at 10,000 kwacha, spectacles valued at 1,800 kwacha, two ATM cards 
cash amounting to 200 kwacha. The victim of this incident is Mr. Peter Sukwa Muchalenga. Honor Bobanda has been remanded in custody at Pata Central Police Station. He is scheduled to appear in court soon to face this charge. Yeah, so he has been arrested. Uh, of course, they were, you, you've heard the items that he's being accused of having stolen cannon and whatnot. Uh, ish, our studio is safe with JJ. We were thinking of inviting him into the studio, but hey, 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 hey we've heard about, uh, <laughs> we've heard about cannons. <laughs> the PF is no longer at the helm, so you might not have to worry so much. It might be that you can, you can teach an old, dog, an old dog new tricks. You can yeah. take the dog out of the village, but not the village out of the dog. <laughs> so you can put JJ in UPND and he might <laughs> still be in a generally small. <laughs> yeah, uh, so um, to me, um, there's something fishy here. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because first of all, we had the president himself mm -hmm. at some point when he was addressing the nation. He spoke about there was a thug mm -hmm. who attacked the central police. Mm -hmm. Very soon we were bringing back <laughs> Umulandu Tawola. <laughs> so maybe these are some of the things that we are seeing. Yeah. Now I'm saying it's fishy because it comes at a time where JJ was uh, apparently abducted yeah. by known people, mm -hmm. which of course him, he mentioned the people. Yeah. And these are high-ranking officials. Who have sued him back. Yes. Mm. And so now that we are going through this, and then you arrest him for something that happened in 2015. By the way, last week I said 2017. It happened in 2015. Mm. And then you arrest him for something that happened in 2015. Uh, that's, that's a bit fishy for me. It's a bit fishy? Yes. And uh, by the way, this is a very ah, serious... Ah, actually, mm. it, it makes sense. Now I've just put together what you've just said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does make sense. Yeah, mm. because you see, uh, the other thing is that I'm not saying that uh, the, the old cases should be revisited and what, because again, if you hear of the story, I don't know if we're going to play that video by the man. Yeah, sure. Himself. Yes. Okay, uh, maybe I can continue after that. Okay. Mm. Um, the, the defendant. Yeah. I've come not to the Chief Justice, demanding that you know, my case, which happened in Chipata, Eastern Province, specifically in Vubwe, Mzigawa, where Honorable JJ Banda uh, humiliated me in all sorts of things, but I feel the judgment was not fair. It's now two years plus. I've been coming, I've been trying not to seek no audience, I've been trying not to. If things are over that you know, the judgment was okay, kindly please, I'm asking you know, the judiciary you know, to come on the open and state that the judgment you received was fair. Uh... The, first of all, I should mention this gentleman has mm. been so we we can't really say that uh, he has just come now. Mm. This happened, of course, in 2015. Mm. But after the case was uh, adjudicated over, he wasn't happy with the judgment, of course. Mm. Uh, this guy was meant to pay a fine. Mm. Yeah, I don't know that an drama there, which did not cover his Colgate bills. <laughs> Uh, from cleaning his mouth after the urine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and by the way, what happened, first of all, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know if you guys, you guys have seen this story, but uh, this guy has narrated this story and there are videos on social media. What mm -hmm. happened is that this guy is the journalist. He was working for the what, was Is there a video of him being peed on? No, no, no. Oh, no, okay. <laughs> no, but there are videos of him explaining what really happened, mm -hmm. like stage by stage. Mm -hmm. uh, these are old videos, by the way. Okay. So what happened is that this guy was working with the Post newspaper and they were covering a story in mm. Eastern Province where these guys... Do we, do we have any of those on, on the on the program, the old videos? Yeah. Oh, they didn't add them, eh? Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. So the this guy, they were covering a story where apparently these guys were registering foreigners mm. to vote. Oh, this is in 2015, December. Yeah, we heard those rumors. Yeah. Wish we were here to report it to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by then, yeah. JJ was the chairperson for the youth in Eastern Province, for mm. BF. Mm. Yeah. So this guy was noticed to say he's uh, trying to get the story out of this. Mm. That's how this guy, not they started beating him. He managed to escape with his friend. They started pursuing him in vehicles. Mm. Started pursuing him. Until Bauna Mugwiri. In fact, at Wana Mutenga, Wana Mutenga Moto can even turn and good Samaritan. And then when a JJ and Akonka until they found him, they attacked him again. And then JJ. That's the first went, thing, blood. <laughs> I want to pee. <laughs> that's when he went to urinate in his mouth. <laughs> Apparently, when he was in the vehicle. So, were there like people holding his, his mouth, his head? 
I don't know about that. <laughs> like I'm just wondering. I'd love to know. And, and if there know. were people holding his head like this, I'm sure the urine was splashing on them as well. Because you can't accurately pee in, in a mouth. You shouldn't be laughing. Unless right? you are really skilled, you've done it before. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When the guy was explaining, I was even like, if there's someone who has ever uh tested urine, it's me. And and imagine he's probably trying to scream at the same time. Yeah. So he's probably swallowing one or two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was very embarrassing also for his family and everything. I yeah. know. Yeah, but, but he, you know, he shouldn't have come publicly with this story. He should have left out the urine part. <laughs> yeah, but notwithstanding that mm. uh, this thing still looks fishy because right now JJ is going through an abduction and everything. Mm. Yeah. yeah but I hope also the police will come back to us with the abduction case. Because mm. seeing as such a Moon to a quasi abduction issue, and then from now we shift our attention to other things in 2015. <laughs> it don't make sense, I know. <laughs> and by the way, is uh, I'm afraid his political career seems in limbo, yeah, because those are unbailable, bondable offenses, by the mm, way, mm. yeah. So, mm. but then if he's convicted, that means you lose his seat. Oh, yeah, wow, no, we'll miss him. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> Reporting about him. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we might have to report. Oh, ex-con. <laughs> oh. oh, convict. Convict. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, Uka had the um, rally on the Copa Belt this past week mm, uh, to Mr. Chofaya's delight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I don't like those guys. I don't like Ed Galungu. Mm, mm. Uh, I don't like the crusade that they have. Mm. You know, it's malicious. We need voices, by the way. Don't mm. get me wrong. Mm. And uh, we need more voices, but we need to be objective and uh, we need to bring out real issues. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, these guys are not. They are just being politicians. So, but the fact that they had the rally, I love it. Because, yeah, yeah we should be given a chance to talk even if we don't like the things that people are about to say. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I may not agree with what you have to say, but I'll fight to the death for your right to say it. Ah, <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> Me too, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Mr. Kalaba gave his speech. This was actually a rally by Citizens First, right? Exactly. Uh, yeah, yeah. Under so which it, they invited Uka. Yes, 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 mm. of course. Yeah, but they, they, they had informed us uh, prior that uh, we'll have... Uh, uh, Edgar Lungo as a guest speaker. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. So there's yeah, no surprise so, then. So Mr. Kalaba said, on behalf of the citizens first and indeed my own behalf, I wish to extend my heartfelt gratitude to the 6th Republic, Republican President Edgar Chagualungu, Uka Leadership and Green Party President Sinkamba Peter for their support in making the citizens first rally in Kitwe a success. We also extend a special thank you to the people of Kitwe for turning up in great numbers. Your participation and enthusiasm are truly inspiring and a testament to our shared commitment to a brighter future. Together, we are making strides towards a more inclusive and democratic society. Thank you all for your unwavering support. Hari Kalaba, President, Citizens First. Yeah. Um, so that was Mr. Kalaba. Of course, the rally was organized by them. And then uh, the 60th president graced the show as a guest of honor. Mm. I wanted um, it to have a low turnout, girl. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I saw you post that on Facebook. Like, oh, I'm praying. Yeah, but I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> Excuse me, I was wrong. There were a lot of people actually. Oh, I Ed Galungo was badly mobbed. He, oh, really? Yeah. Some people had to be beaten just for him to pass. Oh, because they, they they really wanted to. Yeah, they were mobbing him yeah, like no Yeah, business. yeah, yeah. Oh, crazy. Which I'm sure is giving the UPN these sleepless nights. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the cloud, the e -E -E cloud, crowd was thronging. <laughs> the uh, thronging cloud. Oh, crowd. <laughs> cloud, the, the, the cloud was thronging <laughs> the premises. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, some of the speeches that. Uh, were given at the Said rally mm. um, to start with the owner of the show, of course, Mr. Kalaba. Yes.
yeah so that was mr kalaba naba mibedesha ku malaiti naba mibedesha ku bunga naba mibedesha ku fuel typical opposition party rally yeah, yeah there is opposition party rally. no thoughts being expressed there yeah, like but, no ideas but maybe you should understand them i mean that's they are talking to a crowd that needs to hear that i understand that mm-hmm. um but i also do understand that if the crowd needs to hear that mm. then we have a very mature crowd politically we need to grow politically as zambians so that we look at bigger pictures bigger issues you know we have got 20 million plus zambians mm-hmm. that's enough potential to change the country from what that it is that is true yeah. uh, but the problem is that our politicians keep repeating the same political cycles mm-hmm. of not educating the people politically mm-hmm. so yeah. people still believe that mm-hmm. politics is what it always was so do you think that's a deliberate move by the politicians Mm-hmm. Yes, I think it's a deliberate move to an extent to keep people uninformed also. Oh, yeah, I also think so. Yes, and it's also a reflection of themselves that they are not developing themselves. Yeah. Our politicians have the same message they had 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. Nothing has changed. Yeah. They are not developing themselves. Yeah. So, Mr. Lungu. Kanjinga cha kwebati. Ulya mwashire. Ku 2021 we pa chidi. Kubwekera kopi. One time. Ijeshuko <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be more like retribution. I something. know, like that's one of the best political rally speeches I've and I've heard. Really? Rally speeches, I'm telling you. Ndio wa chunsuria. Ndio wa chunsu mwa official kwa mwana. Ni nkwata kadi aba kubomba nabo. Mucheshuko. Tujire shukwetu tijo. Ati mucheshuko. Can you imagine? It just means to in a shukwetu tijo. But mucheshuko. Aba kubomba nabo ni nkwata. Ah, wow. <laughs> ah, yeah. no, that was, so, that was know, powerful. Yeah, mm. For the substance that he brings on a rally, and then imagine how people are throwing him, yeah. as you say it. Yeah. Uh, to me, it tells me that uh, there's a lot of gullibility around. Yeah. And uh, I think the, the onus is on us, especially the young people, Yeah. to change the narrative. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, we can't just uh, keep on living like these politicians taking advantage of us. And you know, by the way, when I was watching the rally, I was watching it live, by the way. Mm. And maybe I should mention this before I go any further. Mm. If we go down to the to, Ed, to either voting for Edgar Lungu or HH, for me, I think I'll stay away. <laughs> yeah, but, it's uh, been a, between a rock and a hard place, eh? Yeah, exactly. Mm. It's better I stay home and do my other things. I'm not saying that people shouldn't go and vote. Please, guys, exercise your right. If you mm. want to vote for someone because they're handsome, please. If you want to vote for someone because <laughs> you, you can at least vote for the MPs. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, uh, and then on I'm, president, I, just put Sean Tembo. Yeah. <laughs> Since you know, at I'm, least I'm to, not saying I won't vote. If if you really, guys, here's my encouragement. Uh-huh. If it comes down to the two, and the rest of the candidates, oh, of course. We know those are wasted votes. Mm. Uh, if you want to waste your vote, put it on Sean Tembo. <laughs> and then the right MPs you can choose. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a campaign message, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm Joe Biden, and I forgot <laughs> this message. <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? That's funny. <laughs> That's what Americans say. But, oh. You know, because Trump is always like, I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. Oh, so they're now like, okay, okay. I'm <laughs> Joe Biden, and I forgot <laughs> this message. <laughs> Plus the dimension. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, mm. yeah, anyway, we can, we can proceed. Oh okay. Yeah. yeah, so furthermore, Mr. Lungu. Ushikuna lela ndana dilana ti kalume wacha kuti wabapata abantu bachura. We shako fyobunga kanzi pani 100 kwacha. Not 50 but 100 kwacha. Akiwa. Batila. Batila mano mambulwa. Ubukuru bwango komasa ko. Ngale kuti kufesura mnyamba. 
Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot, I neglected to mention the caption there, that if government had consulted me, things would not have, things would have been better. That's according to him. Uh, 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 I think I'll be using that proverb. Mm. Oh, and he said those things repeatedly. At some point he said, do you in a man borrow you? If he had to come to me, <laughs> yeah. so it's mm. like he wanted the church to be consulting him. As a father of the nation. What father? Which oh. nation? <laughs> Avalungu would be very welcome. We could one cook on Masako. Yeah, can you imagine? At which end is one cook on a punga to Sakaman? Who said that was that was HH? Eh? Yeah, that must have been HH. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, uh, so it, we are not, uh, these politicians are not learning. So yeah. HH said he will make the 50 kg bag, oh, 25 kg bag of minimum or 50 quarter, remember? Mm. And Ed Garungu now is saying what? At least we shall uh, go to the hundred. So it means him, he knows what to do to take it back at hundred. <laughs> Apparently. So he's making promises. W- which which HH did with fuel? Aha. Uh-huh. Have you seen? Yeah. Even with millimeter, it's oh even with millimeter, yeah. 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 So we don't get <laughs> and the, 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 the crowd is yay. Yeah. Why? Mindless. It's robots. Have you ever watched iRobot by Will Smith? You know where you just use a population as these are Mm. We're just going to use no, this for, for our agenda. Mm-hmm. We're going to build this population for our agenda. Mm. Mindless. Mm. Now that's what happened. That's what's happening. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but our job as at, at, at Amazing Minds, keep following, will teach you, will brainwash is, is you to give to you think for yourself. Yeah, ideology to give you something to think about. Yeah. By the by the time we are reaching the next election, guys, uh, you will have a clearer picture exactly. of what to do. Yes. Yeah. If you keep watching this, yeah, you have a clearer picture of what we'll to brainwash do. Brainwash you to think for yourself. Yeah, who we'll brainwash you to think for yourself? <laughs> and please support us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, our president is now a doctor. Oh yeah, doctorate. But this is not the first uh, honorary doctorate that he has. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, I think he got another honorary doctorate from it's an African country, an African okay. university. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, on the brighter note, I guess. Mm-hmm. Our president is a doctor, Doctor mm-hmm. Hichilema. Yeah, and he did, dedicated the the doctorate to the Zambians. Oh, he did. Did you see that, <laughs> that post on X? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I I think I have it here. The honorary doctorate conferred on us by Harriet Watt Uni is dedicated to the citizens of Zambia for their patience and endurance as we pause, work pause, towards pause. for their patience and endurance. There, you mm-hmm. should have continued that eh? for their patience and endurance eh, to. Uh, live by fake promises. Yeah, or he could have used one word, combined the two, long suffering. <laughs> <laughs> as, as we work towards reconstructing our economy, grateful to the university for granting 60 full scholarships to Zambian students. Oh, and 60 scholarships will take that. Thank you very much. Mm, thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. So, we hope we will know mm. the people that will go. Yeah, that's the only At least they about. should be people within the community. Exactly. And not people living in Ibex. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> not that there is anything wrong with Ibex. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's been a good show. What do you think? Yeah, it's been a good show. Uh, are you giving them the last video? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, so the, the, the police have remained tight-lipped about the abduction. Yeah. Yeah, because we heard that they, they were... They questioned JJ, and JJ gave them some names, mm. but they've still remained tight-lipped. Mm. Yeah, mm. so... But then eh, the minister has given us a hint. Mm. about uh, what could have really happened. Yeah. Because maybe it's privy to more information. Than we know. Yeah. Yeah. So Mr. Cornelius uh, definitely hinted on things. You guys will check it out for yourselves and you have this as a food for thought until the next episode. Yeah, but this has been uh, the Monday show. Expect Bible Talks later during the week and we'll see you on the next one. (laughs) Bye-bye. All those who were complicit to the so-called abduction, whether genuine or politically manufactured in order to put government in bad light, they will pay the price. They will pay the price and there will be no hiding place. You cannot manufacture such an abominable act just for government to look bad. You can't. And all those who are involved, prepare. The law is in motion. The long arm of the law will soon catch up with you so that your political circus can come to an end. Thank you, dear colleagues. 
Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.